In the last lecture, we have started with the statistical texture description method based on special frequencies. We have learned the calculation of first order features using moment calculation. It find mean variance but it does not give the information related to neighboring of pixels. In other words, Majors of textures computed using only histogram suffers from the limitation that they carry no information regarding the relative position of a pixel with respect to each other. One way to bring this type of information into texture analysis process is to consider not only the distribution of intensities but also the position of pixels with equal or nearly equal intensity values. Now we'll see what is co-occurrence matrix and how to calculate co-occurrence matrices for given image. Now in this method we are calculating second order features. These features are related or based on the neighboring of pixels. Consider at the center of this image is particular pixel and the co-occurrence matrix I want to calculate for different small d value and theta values. The pixel which is present exactly at the right side of the center of pixel with distance d equal to 1 and theta is 0 degree. Another pixel which is present exactly at the diagonal upper side it's a 45 degree theta is a 45 degree with the distance root 2. The pixel which is exactly above of the center of pixel with distance 1 but theta is 90 degree. The pixel which is present at the diagonal left hand side upper corner is with distance root 2 with degree 135. The pixel which is present at the left hand side of center pixel is at degree 180 with distance 1. The next pixel which is present at the diagonal left side downward at theta 225 degree with distance root 2. The pixel which is present below to the center pixel with distance 1 and theta 270 degree. The pixel which is present at the diagonal right side downward at theta 315 degree with distance root 2. So for particular d and theta value we can calculate different co-occurrence matrices. Let us take example 1. In this f of xy is given with matrix size 5 by 5 f of x, y is the input image with pixel values 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, 0 and the last row is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now for this is input matrix given with the size 5 by 5. We need to calculate a co-occurrence matrix d and theta is given d is a root 2 and theta is minus 45 degree or it is equal to 135 degree now from this matrix we need to calculate a capital a matrix the size of a is determined by the number of distinct gray levels in the input image thus application of the concept discussed in this section usually requires the intensities be 
recontest into a few gray levels bands in order to keep the size of A manageable. Now let us see step by step how to calculate this A matrix. Now input image the title is given is figure A for the input image. Now see the figure 1 see figure B. Now first of all we need to we need to find out what will be the size of A matrix. Now the size of A matrix does not depend on the size of input image f of x y but it is depend on the number of gray values are used in f of x y. Now in f of x y let us see how many pixel gray different gray level values are used. 0 is there, 1 is there and 2 is there. So f of x y is just made up with 0 gray level value, 1 gray level value and 2 gray level value. Only 3 gray level values are present in f of x y. So the size is dip size will be 3 by 3. So size of A will be 3 by 3. In that we have to give the indexing 0, 1 and 2 in the column and in the row also 0, 1, 2. This matrix is always a square matrix. So the size of A is 3 by 3. It is shown in figure number B. Now how to create this A? Now see in figure C the first value at 0th column and 0th row is C00 where first number indicate the number of row and second number indicate number of column. So the first value at 0th row and 0th column is C00. Similarly at 0th row and 1st column is C01. The next pixel is, the next value is C02 at 0th row 2nd column. Next value is C10. Next is C11. Next is C12. Then C20. C21. And the last value at second row, second column is C22. Now let us see step by step how to calculate this C00, C01 up to C22. Now again remember we need to calculate this co-occurrence matrix A for dis distance root 2 at theta minus 45 degree. Now again I have written the same input matrix here in figure A. Now let us calculate C00 value. Now this C00 is 00 pair. Now find the pair of 00 with minus 45 degree or 135 degree. Now it is indicated in figure number A with red arrows and these are four pairs we are getting with 0 0 and these are four that's why C00 value in figure D is given 4. Similarly C01 is calculated in figure number E and these 0 1 pairs only two pairs are present is shown in figure number A with black arrows and it is 2 that's why C01 is 2. The next value is C02. With pair 0, 2 and such only one pair is present and it is written in figure number F. That's why the value C02 is 1. It is indicated in figure number A with red arrow. The next value is C10 with 10 pair 
is shown in figure A with the black arrow. In figure number G, it is written two. Two such pairs are present in figure A. We can see here. That's why the value C10 is two. Similarly, now see in figure number H for the pair C11. In figure number A, A it is shown that such a three pairs are present with value C11. It is indicated in red arrows. It is three. In figure number I, the pair value for C12. Now see in figure A, such a two pairs are available for C12, and that is represent in blue arrows. Next value is shown in figure number J with C02. The C02 is zero. Is written in figure number J because there is no such pair with two zero is present. That's why the value is zero. Now for C two one, C two one such a pair with two one, two pairs are present. We can see in figure number A with black arrow. That's why the value is two and C two two value is zero because no such pair is present in the original image. Now, if we'll combine these all the images, we are getting complete A matrix, and the values are four two one two three two zero two zero at distance root two and Theta value is one thirty five degree. Now let us take the addition of all these pair values. That means four plus two plus one plus two plus three plus two plus zero plus two plus zero, and it is equal to sixteen. So co-occurrence matrix is this A divided by sixteen. That means four divided by sixteen is the first value. Second value is a two divided by sixteen, and so on. So what exactly this four divided by sixteen, two divided by sixteen is getting? It is nothing but the probability of particular pair is present at d and theta values. Now let us see another example. Example two. f of x y is the same image now we'll change the d and theta values now we'll consider d as 1 and theta as 0 degree that means 0 degree means only right side pixel we will consider with distance 1 let us see step by step again first we need to find out what will be the size of co-occurrence matrix only three gray levels are present 0 1 2 that's why the size is again 3 by 3 now let us calculate c00 from the image original image in figure a for c00 is indicated by Red arrows and such a zero zero pairs, four pairs are present. That's why the first value is four, shown in figure number B. Now figure number C shows C zero one. Such a four pairs are present, which is indicated by black arrows. In figure number D, C zero two. Such a one pair is present, is shown by blue arrow in figure number D. Now let us calculate the next value. It's a C one zero. Such a four pairs are present, indicate in figure number A. 
with the red arrows then c11 is shown in figure number f such three pairs are present indicate by black arrows in figure number g shown c12 such a one pair is present which is indicate by blue arrow now for the next value c20 such a one pair is present is indicate by red arrow and it is written in figure number h in figure number i given c21 only one such pair is present and indicate by black arrow in figure number j the value c22 is written as a one such a pair is pres indicate by blue arrow in figure a now let us combine this values so we are getting here a is equal to 441 431 One 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 at theta zero degree with distance d equal to one. Now, to calculate covariance matrix, let us add four plus four plus one plus four plus three plus one plus one plus one plus one, and it is equal to twenty. So. Co-occurrence matrix we are getting by divide this a divide with twenty. Now let us see third example. Now here f of x y is with size five by five is given. The values are zero one zero one zero. Next row is one zero one zero one. Third row is Zero one zero one zero, fourth row is zero, sorry one zero one zero one, and the last row is zero one zero one zero. Find co-occurrence matrix at d equal to root two and theta is one thirty five degree. Now to calculate the co-occurrence matrix, let us go step by step. First, we have to decide what will be the size. of a now in this in given image only two values or gray level values are present and they are 0 and 1 so the size of a will be 2 by 2 and a we are getting as 8 0 and 0 8 and the co-occurrence matrix we are getting as 8 divided by 16 and 0 divided by 16 0 divided by 16 and the last value is 8 divided by 16 now this is the method to calculate the co-occurrence matrix now from this co-occurrence matrix how to calculate second order features consider a first example in the first example the co-occurrence matrix or a matrix we are getting as 421 232 0 2 0 two, and total number of point pairs are indicated by small n it is equal to 16 so co-occurrence matrix c is equal to 1 by 16 into a and this c is called as gray level co-occurrence matrix or glcm co-occurrence matrix descriptors are maximum probability element difference movement of order k third feature is inverse element difference movement of order k fourth is uniformity and the last one is entropy now for this example we will see how to calculate these five features from this co-occurrence matrix first feature is maximum probability the formula for maximum probability is maximum 
for ij of c of ij now again i have written c here c matrix maximum probability we are getting here is 4 by 16 it is nothing but 0 0.25 that means 0 0 such pairs are 4 and this is maximum probability that means 1 fourth of all the pairs second feature is element difference movement of order k the formula is summation over i summation over j i minus j raised to k into c of ij here i and j indicate the row and column of c matrices so the indexing you can start with the 0 or 1 there is no effect if i'll start with the 0 it will be up to 2 if anyone will start with a 1 it will up to 3 so here i can uh, i have taken i will start with a 0 up to 2 and j is again start with the 0 up to 2 i minus j here k is what the size of a matrix it's a 3 by 3 that's why k value is a 3 that's why I'm getting i minus j raised to 3 into c of ij now let us solve this summation for 0 0 up to 2 2 so I'm getting 0 minus 0 cube into 4 plus 0 minus 1 cube into 2 first of all i will be same and j is varying from 0 to 2 then i will increment by 1 then again j will start from 0 to 2 then again i will be 2 and j is again start from 0 to 2 such a way we are getting the equation as 0 minus 0 cube into 4 plus 0 minus 1 cube into 2 plus 0 minus 2 cube into 1 now for i will increment here and i will become 1 and j is again start with 0 that's why 1 minus 0 cube into 2 plus 1 minus 1 cube into 3 plus 1 minus 2 cube into 2 plus next row that means i will increment by 1 that's why it's a 2 2 minus 1 cube into 2 divided with 1 by 16 and it is nothing but element difference moment of order k is minus 0.5 it has relatively low value when the high value of a c are near the main diagonal because i minus j difference is small there obviously because we have seen here if i and j are the same we are getting that particular term to zero here we can see for 0 minus 0 is 0 that's why particular diagonal term is 0 if all the values are present or the uh, c matrix is a diagonal matrix then the value of this element difference moment of order k is 0 let us see the third feature inverse element difference moment of order k this descriptor has opposite effect now uh, let us see how it is we can say it is opposite effect the formula is summation over i summation over j c i j divided by i minus j raised to k now here the difference is i we can't consider i and j same value that's why i is not equal to j now let us calculate this feature i again is starting from 0 to 2 j is again starting from 0 to 2 c i j divided by i minus j raised to 3 let us solve the summation it's a 2 divided by 0 minus 1 cube we can't consider 0 0 1 1 and 2 2 that's that means the diagonal element we can't consider other than diagonal element we need to consider that's why the values are 2 divided by 0 minus 1 cube plus 0 minus 2 cube plus 2 divided by 1 minus 0 cube plus 2 divided by 1 minus 2 cube plus 0 divided by 2 minus 0 cube 
plus 2 divided by 2 minus 1 cube into 1 by 16. If we will solve this, we are getting this inverse element difference moment of order k as minus 0 0.0078125. The fourth feature is uniformity. The formula for uniformity is summation of over i, summation over j is c i j square. So it is equal to 4 divided by 16 square plus 2 divided by 16 square plus 1 divided by 16 square plus 2 divided by 16 square plus 3 divided by 16 square plus 2 divided by 16 square plus 2 divided by 16 square it's very simple and the value is 0 0.1640625 and this descriptor is highest when cij all are equal that's why it is called as uniformity when we'll get the uniformity uniform values everywhere then the value will be higher and the last feature is entropy the formula is summation over i summation minus summation over i summation over j c i j with the log base 2 of c i j it is equal to 1 by 16 4 log with the base 2 4 by 16 plus 2 log base 2 2 divided by 16 plus 1 log with base 2 1 divided by 16 plus 2 log with base 2 2 divided by 16 plus 3 log with the base 2 3 divided by 16 plus 2 log with base 2 2 divided by 16 plus 2 log with base 2 2 divided by 16 after solving this, we are getting the value as 2.297. This descriptor is a measure of randomness, achieving its highest value when all the elements of C are maximally random. Now these are the features, second order features, which we can calculate from the co-occurrence matrix. One approach for using this descriptor is to teach a system res representative descriptor values for a set of different textures. The texture of an unknown region is then subsequently determined by how closely its descriptor match those stored in the system memory. After finding out these second order features, we can calculate which kind of texture actually present in the given image. The advantage of this method is that the con it, consi it consideration or it takes co into consideration of special properties. But the limitation of this method is that it does not consider the primitive shapes. So basically we, we are not used for this method for large primitives. Thank you.